Hello everyone, Turtle Lags here bringing you another AFK Journey video. Now today we are facing the Lone Gaze, Lone Gaze and this is our first opportunity to playtest Mikola against him. I'm going to showcase to you two different teams that are performing, I would say, about equally well. Uh, one that is the original Scarleta variant that runs the Fresto, Shakir, Rainier, Smoky Core. The reason you run Scarleta is because of her season skill, uh, which improves the haste of your uh, allies as well as the damage output of your allies uh, after a certain amount of time. And then I will show you the Mikola variant where instead of running Scarleta, you trade off Scarleta's damage for Mikola's damage boost in the form of attack percent as well as you know a nice haste boost. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the uh, Scarleta version first. So with the Scarleta version, the reason you run her is because of her season skill, which if I was to show you here along with her charm set, uh, you know, with her season skill at max level, uh, she boosts the party's haste by 10 at the eight second mark, eight seconds into the battle, and then boosts the damage dealt by your allies by 15%, 40 seconds into the battle. This is the reason why you run Scarleta as well as her as well as her ability to um, do some significant damage herself, 10 build damage, that's actually quite good against Lone Gaze. Um, now, mind you, the season skill will rotate out in less than a month, so uh, Scarleta might not be best in slot against Lone Gaze after this month. Now, uh, the other hero that you're going to run is Shakir. Shakir, this is the charm set that I like the most, by the way, because the Resolute Charm provides a little bit of energy on hit as well as um, you know, ultimate strength in order to get him into his Lupine aura faster. However, um, I think nowadays most players, they only do one Resolute Charm because with one Resolute Charm in combination with the main Foresto, which uh, provides a 14% energy generation boost to the ally behind him, you pretty much are able to get Shakir into his Lupine state pretty quick. And then it's up to you whether you wanna go with uh, this uh, Arcane Charm set that boosts his attack percent and uh, skill power, or you run the other charm set that boosts his a haste and his skill power. I decided to opt for the attack percent charm uh, just because uh, you know we do have more haste multipliers with both versions of uh, this team, uh, you know, compared to the attack percent. So I opted for attack percent here. Smokey is I have found this recovering charm set to be the most optimal, boosting both his healing as well as his um, you know his skill power. Uh, and Smokey is here to as an offensive healer to put up good numbers himself. He scores about nine build points against Lone Gaze, doing about the same amount of damage as Scarleta, uh, while also keeping your team nice and healthy as well as boosting boosting the attack percent of your party. And then finally rounding things out is Rainier. Rainier is here, you know, with this charm set, I do like this charm set quite a bit, uh, to provide 25% damage mitigation to your Smokey, also providing some attack percent buff to your Smokey in order for him to heal a little bit better because, you know, healing scales off of attack percent. And then also, of course, increasing the damage taken by the Lone Gaze by 25%. And then, uh, of course, we are running the Evocation spell. Now, in the next showcase with Mikola, uh, the biggest difference with the Mikola team versus the Scarleta team is that Mikola ends up scoring between 4 bill to 6 bill points versus Scarleta's 9 to 10 bill points, but she makes up for it by providing a bit more of a damage boost to the rest of the allies because Mikola does do about 40, uh, 40 haste multiplier versus Scarleta's 30, or I'm sorry, Scarleta's 10. Okay, and in both uh, showcases, by the way, you'll see that Rainier dies at the very end. Uh, no matter how much damage mitigation you stack on Rainier, he does die. Uh, but as you can see here, Foresto scores about a 20.5 bill point you know, score, and then Scarleta a 10 bill score, Smokey a 10 bill score, Shakir 5 bill score. This is actually pretty standard. I think the main difference between this team and the other team is that uh, Fresto, <clears throat> Fresto tends to score about 20 bill in a Scarleta team, whereas in a Mikola team, Fresto does score a bit higher, more like 24 bill. But of course, Mikola, you know, doesn't do as much damage as Scarleta. So let's go ahead and show you the Mikola variant, and we're actually going to try a different uh, spell. Now, with the Evocation spell, you can reach up to, you know. You, you can do pretty well with this. However, one thing I did notice with Zero in particular was that he did run the Quick Blade spell, so I decided to try it. Actually, at the end of the day, RNG will trump any sort of artifact that you bring. Uh, all the Quick Blade and Evocation spell tend to perform the best because with the Quick Blade spell, you do 
improve the uh, physical damage output of all your physical damage dealers like Shakir. Although actually I'm going to swap back now that I think about it because the main damage dealer is going to be Foresto and I do want him to get some sort of uh, damage boost. So uh, the main difference here is that you know we have Nicola in the front which I think is kind of interesting because Nicola uh, even though she is a support just like Smokey but because of one part of her kit where she is able to boost her physical and magic defense by 40 percent. So for this reason, Mikola does survive until the very end. And the reason why you run Mikola over Scarleta is because Mikola does boost uh, the haste of your party uh, by... well, she boosts the ally's attack by 20 percent, and she also boosts the ally's haste by 40 as well as range defense by 10, which improves everyone's survivability. So, and uh, as you saw here, I do run the arcane spell on her in order to boof, boost the attack percent multiplier that uh, you know she brings to the table, if I can find it. Yeah, boosting the attack percent by one extra percent per skill power, but also you know boosting her attack percent that way. You know because her healing scales off of her attack, she ends up healing a bit better. So let's get into this. Uh, I should mention that Smokey is the beneficiary of the illusion for us, those. 14% damage reduction, uh, which helps with his survivability. Now, um, this is probably my fifth recording, and I have noticed that the uh, variation in score for my lineup tends to be anywhere between 47 bill to 48 bill. I did high roll with the Mikola team for 49 bill, but I have only achieved that once out of my uh, my nine attacks today. So RNG does matter a lot, although as you can see here, I did score a new personal best of 50.3 bill. So, um, wow, and that actually brought me to rank one. So uh, how did that happen? If I was to guess, it has something to do with Foresto's damage output. And I was correct. So, you know, Foresto typically in a Mikola team, he scores about 24 bill points. This is actually the first time that I have seen Foresto score 25.4 bill points. Uh, what is interesting here is that Shakir actually ended up doing more damage than usual. Usually he does about 6 to 7 build damage for me, but here he actually high rolled to almost 8 build damage. And actually Smokey almost high rolled to 10.8 build damage. And Mikola actually, uh, this, I think this is about average I guess. I would say Mikola kind of low rolled here. I have seen Mikola do 6 build damage before on one prior recording. Uh, so anyways, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, hopefully this was informative and I did make sure to show you all the charm sets that I used this time around.